Hi guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about cute plant pots. Um, if you're anything like me, there is always a shortage of plant pots in my house. Um, I think it's just one of those things where like it's a cycle, you bring in a new plant, so then you bring in a new pot and then but then the plant dies or the plant grows so then you have to up the size and then you never have enough pots. Um, or the pots you have don't match the right size to the plant you have. It's a whole thing. So uh, I have this huge, cover my address, oh, huge box from Target that was delivered today of some plant pots so I wanted to show you that because they're currently on sale. Um, I hope that they're still on sale when this video goes up. I'll double check for sure but some of these pots are like 25% off and they're very cute so I wanted to show you and I also want to show you some other plant pots that I have already in my collection um, and where to get them. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is for another video. Okay, so I bought all of these online because, you know, obviously we're quarantining, so I can't actually go to Target. These are wrapped really well. They're all bubble wrapped. I got one, two, three, four, five, five pots. I'm pretty sure they were all from the Project 62 line at Target, which is my favorite home decor line that they have. Um, this invoice does not have the price, which is useless to me. So let me pull up the um, receipt for my email. So All right, so let's get into it. So my favorite pots are white pots. So this is the first one that I got. They were wrapped with bubble wrap, which I will definitely be saving for any plants that I will be selling. So this is the first one. This is what it looks like. This is a six inch. Oh no, it cracked. All right, well, I'm gonna have to contact Target now because there's a crack in this one. I wanna see if they can send me a replacement. Um, all right, so we'll deal with that, but this is my favorite uh, pot that I ordered. I actually already have one, um, and it fits my clear orchid container perfectly. Maybe I'll show you later the plant that I already have in this one. And I like it so much, I actually bought another one. So now I have three of these. Let's see if this one was fine. All right, well this one looks great. Okay, no chips or dents or anything. And this one looks good. And this is a six inch pot. And this was $9 each. And usually they are $12. And so far it looks like they are still on sale. They go all the way up to a 14 inch in this design. Okay, that's the first one. All right, the next one is in this terracotta-y color. So this is glazed on the inside, but it's not glazed on the outside. So it feels like terracotta, but um, it doesn't wick the moisture out, which means that you can use this for hydroponics or semi-hydro um, if you wanted to and let's see how much this was this was $11.25 and it's originally $15 has this cool circular design on the front and then the back is just the embossed striping so that's super cool I really like that and then the last six inch pot I have is black. This one looks to be a little bit shorter than the other one. This is what it looks like and it's textured. 
I hope you can see that. And it looks like a little bit worn, but I'm, pre I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like part of the design. And then it feels like clay versus like this one is definitely ceramic. This one feels like clay. This is also a six inch. This one is a little bit shorter than the others, I feel. Let's see how much this one was. And this one was $10 and it's usually $12. Let's see if it's short than this one, or if I'm chipping. It, I don't know, I can't tell. A flat surface. It is, it is shorter, but by like a hair. So not a lot. And then this was the last plant that I got. This one is plastic. I don't think I realized that it was plastic when I ordered it, but this one is an eight inch. Um, there's like plastic on it. I love scissors. Got it. Okay, so this one is plastic, but it actually looks a lot like ceramic. Yeah, it honestly like looks a lot like ceramic. I don't think that if I like didn't pick it up, I don't think I would have been able to tell. Um, and it's also a really good height for an 8 inch pot. Because sometimes the 8 inch pots are a little tall for my liking. And this one was $10. Um, it's labeled as a floor planter. But you know, you could obviously use it anywhere. Um, and it comes in an 8 inch and a 12 inch. This is originally $12. It's on sale for $10. And the 12 inch is only $15 right now. And the 12 inch is usually 20 bucks. So if you need like a huge 12 inch planter, this is a really good price. Um, and it's really cute. It honestly looks ceramic, even though it's definitely plastic. That's really cute. Okay, I'm excited about this. All right. I have to definitely contact Target about this one being chipped because that's a bummer because this one's my favorite design. So those are all the cute pots from Target that I got. Um, Target pots are definitely the cutest pots but they can be really pricey so when they're having a sale um, you know I definitely want to stock up on them. Okay, so now that we're done with the haul, I want to show you other plant pots that I have and where I got them. So while we're still on Target, I want to show you a couple more of Target buys. Um, this is a super, super cute planter. This is from their uh, Bullseye Playground section or their like dollar section. It is terracotta colored, but it is ceramic. Um, this is a six inch pot. It has a attached saucer um, and this was five dollars I believe it is quite short for a six inch pot so for example this is also a six inch pot and that's the height comparison so it is quite short so I've had issues putting uh, plants that are still in their nursery pots in here because they would obviously stick out so this is currently a four inch plant so there's a little bit of a gap but I didn't think it looks fine um and it does have a drainage hole, so if you wanted to just plant a plant directly inside, that would definitely be an option as well. So I got that at Target. Uh, what else did I get at Target? I got this at Target the same day, also in the same section. This is $3. I feel like a lot of people don't like these, but I really like these. These are canvas paper um, planter covers. They are water resistant, but not waterproof. And how I use this is I just stick one of those like plastic tray things that you get at Lowe's for like 30 cents. Stick in there so if I am for some reason watering this plant while it's still in the plant cover then it you know doesn't get on the planter and I think it's super super cute. And this flap does um, like unroll so that you can adjust it depending on the height of the plant. And this is that ZZ Raven I got in that haul video. Don't even like it anymore because I overpaid so much for it. All right. Um, oh, and last one. So this is not a planter, but I also got this at Target. I think these are meant to be like soup bowls or something. I got this probably a few months back. Also at Target, it came in a set of two. Um, they have these all the time. I don't think they have this color necessarily anymore, but they have like things that look like this all the time. So obviously it doesn't 
cover the whole plant it only covers like half the plant but I use it a lot um, just so that there's something that's catching the water it came in a set of two the other one is black with white speckles it looks really cute um, ignore this plant this is my brother's plant I stole this from his room like two seconds ago and he's definitely an underwaterer because this plant needs water so bad all right so let's move on from Target um, I feel like all of the videos that you watch on YouTube about cute planters, they all say the same type of stores, which are like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross. Um, and those are very hit or miss because they are treasure hunty types of stores. And I feel like the ones around me just aren't very well stocked. So I want to talk about some other places that usually have a pretty good selection. So my favorite 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 place ever for pots is Ikea so they don't have like the cutest pots in the world but I think they look really good and they're so inexpensive so let me show you some of my Ikea pots so first of all the one that I showed you earlier this one this is from Ikea this is a six inch pot this is white up here but the bottom feels like some sort of unsealed clay the inside also feels like unsealed clay and it's super simple but it's super cute I really like that and I'm a big fan of white pots this is also my brother's plant that I stole from his room yeah so I think this design is probably my favorite design from Ikea I actually have a few of these around the house so the top is a ribbed texture the bottom is smooth I feel like everyone has this pot because it's great it's super cute and it's super inexpensive I believe this was only like I want to say six or seven dollars I feel like maybe even a little bit less than that and it's a six inch ceramic pot it doesn't have drainage holes which I personally like because I keep all of my plants in nursery pots I don't like planting plants into their actual planters so I personally like that if you like drainage holes um, I would recommend you check out there's a line at Ikea that um, is made out of plastic but it actually looks pretty cute and you're meant to drill your own drainage holes into the pots if you want it so I would check out that line if you want drainage holes they also have um, terracotta pots at Ikea with very high saucers um, which I personally don't like but a lot of people do like them and those do have drainage holes and then to match this gray one I also have this one which might be my favorite planter yet so this one the ribbing actually goes all the way down to the bottom and it's this super cute pale pink color um, it's absolutely my favorite planter in my collection and it was five dollars and I've paid a lot more for a lot of these other planters um, I like the only Ikea locally to me is kind of still a drive so I don't go there very often but if it was closer I would own so many more of these okay so I'm pretty sure those are all my Ikea planters so the next place I want to show you um, is Amazon so I Amazon everything um, and Amazon has some great very inexpensive planters so this is my favorite one that I've gotten uh, came in a set of four and all of them have different designs so this is kind of this wavy texture and these saucers are attached saucers which I don't love but you know they work they function um, and then this design is like a, a white stripe which is super cute ah, oh, I just spilled water everywhere right at that point they have to catch that water and then this one is this kind of interwoven pattern there's another one over there somewhere um, so there was a four of them and they were sold as a set for I believe like 25 five ish dollars I'll make sure to link the exact ones I bought down in the description below um, but there are a lot of cute pots that you can find on Amazon usually they're sold in sets and they're very inexpensive very cute if you like just like plain white pots which I do um, and you want a lot of them at once it's a great place to look all right so now if you want the opposite of plain white pots you like 
novelty pots then Muji is definitely the place to go. Um, this is from a Muji store. It is a panda. They had a lot of different animals. There was like a frog one from my memory. Um, these are also attached saucers with drainage holes. The thing is that it's quite small. I feel like it would fit a three inch. Just double check. No, it wouldn't fit a three inch. It'll only fit a two inch pot. So I had a plant that was planted directly in here, but it died. So this is currently empty. And I don't love that um, I have to plant plants directly in here. But this pot is super, super cute. And then the other pot I have from Muji is this one. This one says flowers and gardens and it fits a three inch this one does have a drainage hole and it fits my three inch pot perfectly so it's super super cute um muji has actually like quite a few pots and a pretty good selection so i would highly recommend checking out especially if you like fun novelty things um another great place for fun novelty things This is a corgi! Look how freaking adorable this corgi is. So I got this at Hobby Lobby in their spring section. And Hobby Lobby, you know, always has like a million sales going on. So I believe this was like 40% off. Ended up being like $2. So uh, I stole this from my brother's room because I gave it to him. But it currently has a pork and jelly succulent in it that I don't know how this plant is honestly still alive because it gets like no light so obviously that's why it's like so elongated because it gets like no light but just the fact that it's still alive is kind of crazy to me it's so cute the quirky butt Hobby Lobby also has great prices on very big planters um I got a a concrete planter I don't know where it is but it's somewhere I also got like a concrete planter from Hobby Lobby it was huge it was probably like a 12 inch pot or like a 10 inch pot and it was I think $15 which is a really good price for those huge planters uh, I don't love their selection of four and six inch pots but for like the very big ones I don't think that price can be beat so definitely check out Hobby Lobby because they always have like coupons and sales going on All right so um another place i want to talk about is walmart so walmart i feel like is very underrated for pots so i got this pot at walmart it looks like a golf ball it also comes in gray but i like the white one because it reminds me of a golf ball this is a four inch pot and it was two dollars and fifty cents isn't that insane like that price is insane it has a drainage hole it has a drainage hole plug as well so I don't because I keep my plants in nursery pots so I don't take the plug out but if I wanted you know to take the plug out and plant a plant directly into it I could and that's like a crazy price let's see what else did I get at Walmart I got this at Walmart this is made of brown clay which I really like I own a lot of um pots that look like this color from my local nursery and this one has like that white marbling which is gorgeous I can't remember the price of this one off the top of my head but I want to say it was like 350 or something and then it um and then you have to buy the saucer as well and that I think was like a dollar or something and then the last planter that I got at Walmart is this one this one is a two inch pot. I have this oxalis planted directly into the pot, um, which is currently blooming, which is awesome. Um, and this one does have a drainage hole and I did plant this oxalis directly into it. So I did take the plug out so the drainage hole works. I think this oxalis needs a little bit of water. It looks a little bit dehydrated, but it's doing really well. Those blooms are so, so cute. Okay, so now that we've talked about uh, where to get the cute pots, I want to show you the pots that the majority of my collection actually is in. So the majority of my collection um, is in these pots. They are just plain clay pots. I don't like the terracotta color necessarily, so I like these. Um, this one 
is like a paler neutral color and I also have these which is like a brown color um, and I get both of these from my local nursery um, I don't know where else you could find them except for your local nursery but I like a lot of my collection is in these because they are not that expensive and they are super super accessible to me so I just want to quickly show you that and then the very last thing I want to show you is some DIY planters. Um, so I already have a video on these. These are burlap covers. This one actually kind of looks a little bit worn. So it's not that good of an example. But uh, I have a tutorial on how to make these. So if you want to check it out, there's a video on my channel. And then some other DIYs that I've made include this. So this is... Um, a takeout like sauce container that I probably got it from some takeout place actually I, I'm pretty sure this is the um, acai bowls from Costco and then I hot glued some macrame rope on it and then it fits perfectly this four inch planter that I have and it's super super cute um the pot was free and the macrame cord you can find like a huge huge roll of it for maybe like 10 or 15 dollars on amazon so this is a very cute and cheap diy this is the last diy i want to show you so this is me i made this from just cotton canvas that i got from joanne i was doing another uh like embroidery project that had some leftovers so I decided to make some canvas pot covers with it. Um, this one I embroidered a raffidophora leaf on it. If you guys are interested in this I could definitely make some and put them up on my Etsy store. I have a couple other designs that I have in mind that I really want to make um, and then I also tried previously to paint on this canvas and it worked out really really well. Um, I made one and I gave it to Marissa so hi Marissa if you're watching this uh, where I painted like red hearts on it. And I had another scrap one that I painted a bunch of stuff on with a different or with a lot of different types of paint and I ran it through the washing machine and pretty much like none of them faded. They all stayed so I'm very happy about it. So these are definitely water resistant um, and usually I would put a like a plastic saucer in it. I don't think I have a plastic saucer in this one because I ran out and you know we're not going to Lowe's right now but usually I would put a plastic saucer inside these. So yeah. All right, so those are all of the pots that I wanted to show you. Um, if there are any places that you think I should check out and I'm missing and don't know about let me know in the description down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.